there. Got it, got it. So with most of the brands, um, like Apple for that matter, like Apple is a luxury, yeah, I think among the phones it's a luxury. But in the tier two countries like India or Nepal or uh, uh, Cambodia and Vietnam, it's always outsourced to someone else. Like BMW has a tie-up with Navneet Motors, you know, who takes care of the BMW sales and franchises. When people in India get jobs, do they do they work for Navneet Motors or do they work for BMWs? Or do they work for Maple in India, which is like this reseller of Apple or do they work no. in Apple? No, no, no. Hi everyone, welcome on board. A lot of you guys have been asking me this question, sir, luxury marketing kya chi there? What do you guys do it? And I've got Alejandro with me, who is the director of a business school called SD Bocconi. And we were chit-chatting many of the CEOs of the top luxury brands like Chanel and uh, Cartier. Cartier, Cartier, you guys know watches, Times of India, front page, Bombay Times, full page ad are all Indians right now. And we're going to have chit-chat. Hi Alejandro, welcome on board. Hi Raul. This nice is, to be, to have you here again. This is so amazing. Uh, whenever I meet Alejandro, I, I get hold of him and we always revisit our stories of scuba diving and uh, now uh, sailing as well. You've been sailing recently. A lot, yeah. Since I'm in India, I've been sailing for the last 10 years. That's, every Saturday. That's so cool. So by the way, he's a, he's a professionally trained sailor. Are you a coach as well? Not in sailing, uh, in windsurfing. In windsurfing, you're a coach, yeah. lovely. And uh, by the way, he has traveled 120 countries. <laughs> this is so amazing, this is so amazing. Let's get to the point, we'll do another session on traveling. Uh, Alejandro, what is luxury marketing? They're all kids, 20, 21 year olds. They all want to get into those uh, Gucci and Armani's of the world. Yeah, you know, it's a very uh, nice moment right now because uh, uh, it's very strange. India's always been the place of luxury, okay? Uh, luxury is, uh, a lot about the experience, okay? Not only the product, the product for sure, but also all the experience around it. And what best than India with all the kings and the maraja and the workmanship and the crafts at very high level. Uh, but uh, uh, more recently, uh, the luxury world has always been identified with the Western world. Uh, ironically also, if you look at fashion, but also in certain case of inspiration and so on in, uh, in uh, jewelry, like uh, Cartier's very strong roots uh, in India. Uh, but uh, uh, getting back to fashion, for example, you know, a lot of the workmanships are made in India, mm. but then marketed by foreign brands. Yeah. So this is a very interesting moment where all the young people are uh, traveling a lot, are seeing what is happening a lot, are exposed to luxury marketing abroad and what luxury products and luxury experience is. And so, and the Indian market has grown a lot. Yeah. The purchasing power has grown a lot. So luxury is very strongly coming back to India on Indian products. Right. So I see also Indian products, Indian crafts becoming part of luxury, which is Super. a bit what I've been doing with Vaishali S. And uh, so you see that uh, a bit of that, a bit of the purchasing power, you see that uh, uh, global brands are looking at India. Yeah. And there you see that uh, we have the uh, international uh, head of development, the international development of Cartier is an Indian woman, very knowledgeable. Uh, you, you see the new CEO of uh, managing director of Chanel is an Indian woman. True. The new designer of Lanvin is an Indian designer, CEO is an Indian designer, Sida Shukla. So, uh, Brands have understood that India is the place to be. Super. So, uh, while we don't see that much luxury marketing uh, as such in India till now, uh, I see it coming very strongly and I see a lot of Indians going abroad also, being hired yeah. by companies abroad, yeah. being trained abroad and then coming back, coming and then, back to yeah, India. Because you need to understand how the thought process uh, works because yeah, if somebody from Indian origin, he understand the empathy of the customer, you know. Absolutely. If it's into the shoes and then understand they come back again. That's lovely. What kind of roles people do get? Like I am, I'm a 22 year old. I want to get into luxury marketing. Uh, what kind of brands they can aim for and the roles they can get into? Okay, here we have to be a, a bit lowering the expectations in certain cases. Uh, we have to be sincere. Uh, roles in luxury marketing in global brands. Uh, in India uh, are very limited. It's, mo it's mainly roles, uh, sales roles, okay? But 
uh, this is coming, as I was saying, very strongly. I see a big wave coming. And where it has already started is rather in the accessories, for example. Yeah. For example, we have Luxottica, who is a big employer for us. Yeah, it comes and to Bocconi for hiring as well, right? It comes to Bocconi, has been coming for years uh, and uh, recruits in Bocconi. And uh, in most cases, then they send students also abroad. We have students that have been hired here. Then they have been working in China, in Hong Kong, in Russia, in Italy. Uh, so uh, these are uh, this is the first wave. And if I if I may also, these companies in accessories are also very professional. Yeah. So yeah. it's a very strong professional marketing True. with an eye on luxury. So True. these are already very good jobs that are there. Got it. Got it. So with most of the brands um, like Apple, for that matter, like. Apple is a luxury, yeah, I think among the phones it's a luxury. But in the tier 2 countries like India or Nepal or uh, uh, Cambodia and Vietnam, it's always outsourced to someone else. Like BMW has a tie-up with Navneet Motors, you know, who take care of the BMW sales and franchises. When people in India get jobs, do they, do they work for Navneet Motors or do they work for BMWs? Or do they work for Maple in India, which is like the reseller of Apple, or do they work no. in Apple? No, no, no. They work uh, with the main brand normally. Mm. At least uh, among our employers, we have yeah. the real, uh, the the real original brand, and uh, big global brands normally they have their own setup. They don't. Uh, they start maybe with a reseller uh, or something like that, but uh, then when when they enter a country, is the their own because marketing is extremely important. Has to be extremely controlled. And uh, luxury marketing uh, is really another level. It's not very different from FNCG marketing. Yeah. The whole experience it, uh, has to be totally different Super. and totally global. Got it, got it. I have a different question altogether. Now let me become a customer. Like, so uh, my level of buying is still H&M to Zara and that's it. So, and I'm assuming uh, my kids are also as rich as me who are listening to us or those 21 to 25 years old, how to get to the next level? Or you get money and then you start buying expensive stuff? Or it's a mindset up as well? Because I've seen many rich people still like in Indian traditional wear, they are with their kurtas and dhotis and simple like a 200 rupees chappals. So when do these consumers uh, get there? Because it's a mindset up. Like my dad will never wear a Gucci or an Armani, how much of money he's got. He comes from a bank, he's 37 years with the bank, started from clerk and saved. And that's what we Indians are. What's your take on that? Did you get my question? Yeah, yeah I got it perfectly well. And, uh, you know, it's coming. Uh, and uh, you talk about uh, Zara H&M. I think they've done uh, a big job in countries like India uh, for luxury also. They are not luxury at all yeah. as per global standards. But they've introduced the concept of a different experience. Uh, the concept of design mm. into the their products uh, and they've started opening a path okay mm. so they, they they had a very important role uh, now with for sure increased uh, purchasing powers uh, uh, that is happening more and more and for sure younger generations uh, are more open to this uh, kind of uh, uh, products as soon as they have the purchasing power mm. which is coming sooner and sooner. If you see the, 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 the students that are placed now already are with uh, salaries that uh, uh, I don't say me and you, but we let's say our parents had never even thought of. Okay? True, true, true. So they start true. from a totally different uh, standard. Uh, also, there are many products now that uh, the global brands have such a power that they can uh, do the accessories. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, so they can amplify the brands with accessories, yeah. and these yeah. accessories are the first entry point to the luxury world. Got so it. you start from cosmetics, yeah. and then maybe sunglasses. Yeah. Uh, so these are much more accessible. So you buy small, you want to become rich or at least look rich. Buy small, start with sunglasses. In fact, for that matter, you're right. Even Zara's perfumes are about um, one thousand rupees. You know, and uh, rest. And I think that's the good entry point. That's what all brands want to do, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Cosmetics mm. are the perfect entry point as much as, uh, as uh, sunglasses uh, or 
the, the other accessories. Uh, for example, maybe you never think of buying a suit uh, or a bag for, from Hermes, uh, but maybe a tie, yes, uh, when you have some money, okay, I'll buy myself a tie yeah, because yeah. I got this new job. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so the accessories are the good entry point. Then you are happy with it, and more than you are happy, uh, they make you feel different. Yes. So when you get the next uh, increase or the next job, you might buy a shirt. Yeah. And then you go into a pair of shoes. <laughs> true, 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 true. And then one fine day you buy a suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you become a complete man. Great. Moving in forward. Um, so, so luxury is great. Do you, do you think um, down the line, couple of years, we spoke about it, like India is the place to be. But uh, if somebody is sitting out in India and aiming to work for brands like um, Gucci, Armani's of the world, Dolce Gabbana's of the world, I even don't know the pronunciation. But what do you teach in luxury market? You did a master's in luxury. Yeah, I did a few years back, I must okay. say. <laughs> but, okay. uh, well, you teach a lot of things. Uh, uh, around luxury itself and all the rest that is around. As I was telling you, uh, uh, luxury is uh, not just the price, okay? It's not just yeah. an expensive product. It's a product that has, uh, uh, covers a lot of aspects uh, uh, of excellence. Uh, and uh, that comes also to the way uh, you communicate, for sure, but uh, for the fashion shows, uh, advertising, yeah. and each and every aspect has to be at the top. And the more you go up, the more it has to be at the top. Uh, making an example of the Paris of Couture, which I, I've, already, which I've just been uh, now with Vaishali, uh, which is the top luxury uh, stage that you can think. You have no idea how everything is uh, curated from the hair, each single hair that has to be in the same direction, oh. to the kind of model it has to be, the model uh, that uh, looks good, but also that has done only good, sh good shows oh. uh, that are above you and not be below you as a brand. Wow. Uh, the way you shoot the videos, the photos. So every single aspect is, the more you go up, the more is like that. Got it. So uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's very interesting. It's a path and experience for a, for a student. So I think it's a very good to start maybe with a, an accessory company yeah. because it's really strong basics of marketing, yeah. which could be also FMCG marketing almost, okay? And then from there, uh, go up and have different experiences uh, with the top global teams. Super. So, um, and the basics, fundamentals of marketing remain the same, yeah. whether it's luxury marketing, the four P is still surviving there, the seven P's now, I think it's a 20 P's, <laughs> yeah. they keep adding to it. They keep adding P's. Let's, see, let's say that maybe the, the weightage of the different P's mm. is different. Super. Okay. And as I was saying, uh, the, the experience uh, uh, is the most important thing. That's so amazing. This is so amazing. Boys and girls, we can keep chatting. Drop in your uh, profile below. Are you keen on luxury marketing? What kind of questions you have? You want to settle in India or want to go abroad or you want to go to France or you want to do an MS in luxury marketing and we'll have discussions going on in the comment section. Thank you, Alejandro. It was lovely having you on board. Great as always. Thank you. As always.